Hey honey, we can watch the campfire right from here. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Rockwood, model number 1940 LTD. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 1,608 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 683 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 2,291 pounds. When fully extended, it measures in at 20 feet, two inches long, and it can sleep up to five people. First thing you notice about this camper is it is all screen everywhere. It's just like being in a tent, but you're up and off the ground. I absolutely love it. But when you walk in through the side door off to the right hand side, you've got a really nice size pop out area. Next to that, you've got a dinette that can easily seat four people. And then you have your kitchen area. And then on my end of this pop up camper, you have another pop out area. Now this pop out on this side, measures in at about four feet and it measures in at 80 inches long so one adult could sleep on this bed very very comfortably and if you had two small children i would imagine they could sleep on here as well now just outside of the bed area is where the kitchen is located now this kitchen has you know a decent size but small sink um, it's not got a big gooseneck faucet because this whole roof, boom, comes down when you pack it up and go and it would hit the faucet. So I imagine that's why they have this lower profile faucet in here. Now down below, you've got a couple of drawers that open up for some space. And then below that, you've got your refrigerator. And in here, you know, there's not a lot of space in there, but the one advantage that this fridge has is it does have a little spot to make ice cubes. And then other than that, you can keep some cold storage in here as well. Uh, it's, it's just enough space for a weekend getaway. Now, opposite the dinette, you have this additional countertop space that you can use to sit on. There's also more storage under here as well. And the drawers here are for your kitchen utensils. This drawer even has a nice little divider. And then you have a little deeper drawer below that for some additional storage as well. So here I am at the dinette and, you know, I would say you could really pretty easily seat four people here. The table also drops down so this can become a bed. You just take the back pillows and put them on top of the table and it makes one nice bed in here. So I would say maybe a, a shorter adult, I'm 5'11", I couldn't sleep here, but somebody shorter than that would be able to. Or your kids could sleep here as well. And then behind me here, this is actually a full queen size pop out area so pretty good amount of room up in here and then finally right next to the bed is this little countertop which sort of serves as a nightstand there's a receptacle right here so you can plug in your phone or tablet or computer or whatever to recharge it and then there's additional storage from both sides down below just outside is where you can set up your little propane grill and there's even a little quick connect propane down below this pop-up camper has a dry weight of just over 1,600 pounds, so it's easily towed by a wide variety of vehicles like Jeeps, SUVs, and whatever else doesn't need, doesn't have a very high tow capacity. The other really cool thing about pop-up campers is when you drop the roof down, it's short enough that you can stow it right inside your garage at home. This pop-up camper is the Forest River Flagstaff, model number 228 LTD. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of just 1,921 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,304 pounds, for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,225 pounds. When fully extended, it measures in at 23 feet, 1 inch long, and it can sleep up to 7 people. When you first walk into this camper, you'll notice that the kitchen area is straight ahead. Off to the right-hand side, you've got one side of the pop-up camper. And then as you rotate around towards my end, you've got your dinette on one side, a couch on the other, and another nice size bed over here. Now this side of the pop-out camper is actually a full queen size mattress, 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. Really nice size, so two adults could easily sleep here. And then you get that nice feeling of sleeping outside in a tent, but you're not on the ground, which is really my favorite part of ever being in a, in a pop-up camper. Now, Susan, her first camper was a pop-up camper that she bought, what? 20 years 20 ago. 20 years ago. So how did you like your pop-up camper? I loved it. Yeah. But uh, I was a single mom, so it was a lot of work for me. <laughs> I bet it was. And it was kind of a pain in the butt to close it up wet 
It yeah. seemed to rain every weekend, but I did love it. Yeah. Susan and I did not meet until about six years ago, and that was the best day of her life. So, <laughs> uh, so here we are. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. <laughs> On my left hand side is where the dinette would be. We have it broken down into a bed so you can see that. Um, I would say one adult could probably sleep here, you know. You're one adult sometimes. I'm one adult. I mean, I'm 5'11", as you know. I'm squeaking in here by, you know. Yeah. I'd have to scrunch up a little bit to sleep here. On the other side, though, is where this nice comfy couch is. Now, this couch, you know, you can see two or three people here very comfortably, but it also becomes a bed and all you do is pull the bottom out it's really a little more to it but pull the bottom out flip this little leaf over and then you sort of tuck it back and then this cushion just lays right on here and now you have another bed in here as well it sleeps a lot of people yeah it does most pop-ups do the kitchen area in here is really rather small as you would expect in a pop-up camper you've got a little sink here that you can use but a good amount of countertop space off to the side down below that you've got a little drawer here that has some space underneath the countertop there's also a little bit of space or access underneath the kitchen sink and then finally we have a small mini fridge in here there's no freezer in here but at least you can cold store some items for your weekend getaway so just past the kitchen, there is some more countertop space here. This serves as both a nightstand for the bed and also, I guess, additional countertop space for the kitchen. It's got a grill here that hasn't been unpacked yet, but this would set up outside your trailer. And then you'd have a nice griddle um, that's propane powered for doing your cooking. There's also some storage underneath there. Directly across from that, we have more countertop space. And you could sit on this or use it however you like, but it's got a little drawer here that pulls down and then some more access on the end over here so you can take advantage of all of that space and then finally this end of the pop-out camper is the same size as the other end so you get a full queen uh, mattress in here for this end of the pop-up camper too so outside this pop-up camper this is where you could uh, mount your griddle and then it's got a quick connect propane connector right here this pop-up camper is the Coachman Clipper model number 107LS. It weighs in at an unloaded vehicle weight of 1,801 pounds, has a cargo carry capacity of 1,137 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 2,938 pounds. At fully extended, it measures in at 20 feet, five inches long, and it can sleep up to six people. When you first walk into this pop-up camper, I mean, you can't help but notice all the screen all the way around. You've got your pop-up on the other end, then your kitchen area, then you have these two nice couches in the middle, and then on my end, the other pop-out area. Now, this happens to be 56 inches by 74 inches, so we would call this a short, full-size bed. I think I got it right for the first time in my entire life. Anyway, when you're here, it's just a very nice feeling because you're surrounded by screen on all three sides. You can lay in here, enjoy the air. You're up off the ground. It's like you're tent camping, but you're not laying on the ground. They have a couple really neat new features this year. And one of them is this, this is a light sort of fan combo. So you can, you know, be laying here, turn your light on or off, have the fan blowing on you. Really kind of neat. And it just plugs right into the light up top. So it's very simple and easy to use and easy to remove as well. Now, as we move into these couch areas, both of these couches pull out and can turn into a big bed. They're sort of a gaucho style. So you just pull this on out and there you go. Your, mat your, your seat cushions create a bed. This one pulls out as well. And this is a big sleeping area. You can get three kids here, two adults, very, very comfortably, whatever you need to do. So just past the couches, we're into the kitchen area, and there's a two burner propane cooktop here. And next to that, you've got a nice little black kitchen sink with a little faucet on top. Below that, a couple of drawers here for storage and things. And you could put a, I don't know, I would probably use like some clear containers, put those in there. That way you can see through the containers, see what you have stored inside of them, and things don't go flying around inside your cabinets. And then below that, we have a 12 volt cooler here so that'll keep all your cold storage 
nice and chilly for an extra long time. Directly across from the kitchen area, you have some additional countertop space here with some storage up top and additional storage down below. And finally, we're at the other end of this pop-up camper and the pop-out here has the same size bed as on the other side. So it's 56 by 74, which makes it a short full-size bed. All right, so here we are outside the pop-up and you'll notice that there's this freestanding table. Now this can go outside your camper or inside. And if you put it between the two couches in there, then it would serve as a dinette table. And then of course you have your propane grill right here. There's a quick connect down below so you can hook it right up and start cooking right away. This pop-up camper is the A-Liner Classic with a sofa bed. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 1,590 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,410 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,000 pounds. It measures in at 15 feet long and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this camper on the right-hand side, you'll notice the dinette area, which wraps right around into the kitchen area. And then at the back of the camper is where the sofa and bed are located. Now, normally this is set up just like a sofa, like I'm sitting here now, so it's nice and comfy. Three people could sit on here very, very easily. On one side over here, you've got a cable rough in and a 12 volt, 12 volt port, as well as your thermostat for your heater. On the other side, you have a electrical receptacle and two USB ports. And let's take a look at what the bed looks like when you convert the sofa into your bed. Good. Why are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Stop shooting my butt. So I went ahead and just quickly converted the sofa into the bed. I didn't want to do it on camera because you'd just be looking at my butt the whole time. But anyway, this, <laughs> this thing is about 58 inches wide it's 74 inches long so it's almost a short queen size bed but there's plenty of room for two adults to be able to sleep up at this end of the camper the microwave is located directly across from the kitchen sink and it sits in the cabinet which is located right next to the front door of the trailer the kitchen area consists of a small sink with some storage underneath and then next to that we have a really good size mini fridge for a camper this small it even has an ice tray location so you can make some ice cubes now on top of the countertop here is a two burner propane stove it doesn't really go here it's supposed to mount outside of the camper on the side of it and there's a quick connect propane attachment out there for you so it's very very easy to attach and set up outside your camper now in the dinette area uh, you'll notice that this freestanding table can either be set up in here or you can take it outside and set it up out there as well. But this also converts into a bed. Just take the table, pull the legs up, turn it sideways, put it down, rearrange the seat cushions, and then one more person can fit in this spot to be able to sleep in here as well. So just outside the door of this camper is where your two burner propane stove would hook up and then your quick connect is right down below. Now you might be thinking maybe a pop-up camper might be a little too small for you or maybe you need some additional amenities inside your camper like a refrigerator or a TV or things like that. And if you need that stuff, just hit the box down below and check out our video called Hybrid Campers. It's the best of a travel trailer combined with a pop-up camper. Just click the box and we'll see you in the next video.